What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV. In today's video we're going to take a trip into Nottingham City Centre for the official Christmas light switch on. Get a few mates along and hopefully have a good night. And so with that said, let's get on with the video. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back to LSJ TV. Today we're going to train back. I'm on my way to the gym now and if you guys have ever wondered why I come to this one very spot every time I vlog, uh, it's because there's a nice bright light right up there and as you can see out there, it's very yellow, dingy and dark and you wouldn't be able to see me very well. So um, let's get on with the workout. Enjoy the video. What's up guys? Hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, let me know by leaving a like, comment and subscribe for loads more good content. But with that said, let's get on with this back workout. So as you can see me here guys, warming up, as usual, lat pull down, nice and easy weight, just training that central nervous system and getting that blood pumped into the back, ready for the heavy exercises. So what you want to do guys is grab the bar just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. If you're a bit taller than that's going to be a little bit wider, if you're a bit shorter then that's going to be a little bit closer. What you're going to want to do is find that sweet spot and that will come with more training and that will come with progression. After you've found a comfortable distance apart to hold the bar, you're going to want to focus on pulling from the elbows and really contracting the lats, getting the squeeze at the bottom and controlling on the negative. Keeping that form nice and solid all the way until the last rep, as you can see me here, squeezing at the bottom, controlling at the top and then standing up. So the next movement is a shoulder press. What I like to do before is psych myself up by looking at myself in the mirror. And what I want to draw your attention to here is the way I pulled up the dumbbells. I didn't just sling them up. I actually used my knees, used some momentum to get the weight up there. All that is going to do is just help you reduce the risk of injury and allow you to mentally focus on the exercise, help you get the form down, which is pretty damn simple, guys. You are literally pressing some dumbbells above your head. All you want to do is do it nice and controlled and bring those shoulders down to just past 90 degrees. So the next exercise of the day, guys, was a one-arm cable row. Standing with your feet shoulder width apart, somewhere you feel nice and stable. I actually like to put my hand on my leg, as you can see there, just for added stability. Pulling from the elbow, contracting the lats. Squeezing at the top and controlling on the negative. Probably the most key part of this exercise, guys, is keeping that elbow nice and tight next to the side of your body, ensuring that you're not bringing any secondary muscles into the movement. As well as this, you want to keep your shoulders nice and square, not letting those shoulders drop, keeping that back nice and straight to reduce the risk of injury. So as you guys can see here, the next movement was one of my favorites of all time the tricep push down and again you want to keep that arm nice and close to the side of your body lock it almost locking your elbow to the side of your stomach and what that's going to do guys is give you the maximum time under tension on that tricep what most people don't realize is that the triceps actually make up two-thirds of your entire arm and so that means that two-thirds of the thickness of your arm is all down to your tricep when people think oh I want to get big arms that's the first thing people think of when they think of training in the gym they think I want to get big arms and so they train their biceps when actually you can get as big bicep peak as you want but if you don't train your tricep you're gonna miss out on two-thirds of the potential size of your arm so don't forget to train those triceps guys so as you guys have already been watching for a few seconds the next movement was a straight arm pull down all you need for this is some cables and a straight bar guys grabbing the bar at about shoulder width apart really focusing on spreading those lats at the top of the movement and pulling down without actually swaying the body too much what that's going to do is keep the focus on the lats and not use any secondary muscles now as you guys can see the next movement of the day was bicep curl I don't need to tell you guys how to do a bicep curl you should all know by now but if you think about it there's a bit more to it than what first meets the eye depending on what your goals are depends on how you want to do your bicep curl if you want to get more width in your bicep Bicep, you want to do a hammer curl whereas if you want a bigger peak on your bicep you want to do it with your hands supinated now all that means is having your hands facing upwards having your palms face upwards it's surprising how doing such a simple movement in different ways can affect how your muscle grows so depending on your goals guys
guys depends on how you should do your bicep curl. So to finish off today's video guys I just wanted to give a shout out to the lads in the background for keeping me company during the workout and as you can see here guys when it comes to shrugs I like to shrug up and then backwards as well. I just personally feel that helps me get a better mind to muscle connection and helps me feel the pump in the muscles a bit more. So that is it for today's video guys. If you made it this far thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like the video, comment and share, subscribe if you're new to the channel and as always remember no regrets and I'll see you guys in the next video.